Okay, here we go. Let's find the equation of the line containing the given pair of points, 3, 2, and 9, 7. We'll give the equation of the line in slope-intercept form, which is y equals mx plus b. I like writing on pink lined paper. All right, let's let point 1 be the point 3, 2. You must put parentheses around your points. Don't forget, point 2 will be the other point, which is 9, 7. Recall the slope formula y equals, uh, m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. That's the rise over the run, the vertical distance over the horizontal distance. Now substitute the numbers into the, uh, into the variables. We calculate the slope by subtracting on top and then on the bottom. After the slope is calculated, we find the equation of the line. Using the point slope formula, y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. So this will be y minus 2 equals 5 sixths the slope times x minus 3. Now you're going to notice something. This is a trick to make your life easier. I am going to multiply both sides of the equation by the denominator of the slope. That will cancel out the slope. Then I won't have to deal with fractions. Distribute on the left and cancel on the right. And that's what I'm left with. This temporarily eliminates my fractions. Now distribute on the right side also. Six y minus 12 equals five x minus 15. I'm going to add 12 to both sides because I have to solve for y. The 12's cancel out on the left, and I'm left with 6y. 6y equals 5x minus 7. 3. Duh. I divide by 6, divide by 6, divide by 6, and I'll be left with y equals 5, 6x minus 1 half. which is slope-intercept form. Now let's type this into the answer box and notice I use the fraction tool. 5 over 6, use the right arrow key to move to the right, then type x minus fraction tool 1 half. All right, the slope is 5, 6. The y-intercept is negative 1 half. OK, write a slope-intercept equation for a line passing through the given point that is parallel to the given line. Then write a second equation for a line passing through the given point that is perpendicular to the given line. All right, the given line is 2x plus 9y equals 8, and the point is 6, negative 9. The instructions say to use integers 
or fractions. That means no decimals. So here we go with number 20. The point is 6, negative 9. And the equation, the given equation, is 2x plus 9y equals 8. Step one will be to use 2x plus 9y equals 8. Parallel lines have the same slope. So we're going to use the given line, find the slope of that line, and the way we're going to do that is we're going to solve for y and get it in slope-intercept form. So we'll have 9y equals negative 2x plus 8, and we will divide by 9, all three numbers separately. The slope of that is negative 2 ninths. So the slope of the line that we're looking for is going to be negative 2 ninths as well because we're looking for a line that's parallel to the given line and that goes through the given point 6, negative 9. Very important here that parallel lines have equal slopes because they have the same tilt. They travel side by side. There we go, kind of. Uh, yeah, it's about as good as I can do. They travel side by side. So it makes sense that they have the same slope. So now we're going to use the point slope formula. That's traditional. You can always use y equals mx plus b if you prefer. But I like to use the point slope formula. I substitute the appropriate coordinates in y1 and in x1. y minus negative 9 is going to be y plus 9. Meanwhile, let us not forget that the point is 6, negative 9. And when you subtract, you add. When you subtract a negative number, you add, which is how I got y plus 9. It's going to be negative 2 ninths times x minus 6. Just like before. I'm going to multiply both sides of the equation by the denominator of the fraction slope. Now, I'll distribute on the left, 9y plus 81. I'll cancel on the right, and that will give me negative 2 times x minus 6. which will give me 9y plus 81 equals negative 2x plus 12. Remember, negative times negative is positive. So 9y equals negative 2x plus 12 minus 81. That means that 9y equals negative 2x minus 69. Now I'll divide by 9, divide by 9, divide by 9. So that y equals negative 2 ninths x minus 23 thirds. That's the equation of the line parallel to the given line, going through the given point. Let's put that in the answer box.
negative two ninths right arrow then x minus twenty three thirds check the answer ah well done all right now comes the second part of the question we're going to find the equation of a line that's perpendicular to 2x plus 9y equals 8. Again, no decimals in the slope, in the equation, which includes the slope. So now we come to the very unusual and difficult relationship between the slopes of lines that are perpendicular. The two slopes are called opposite reciprocals. That means they're reciprocals with opposite signs. So the slope of the given line, we already know, is negative 2 ninths. But now that's going to become the opposite reciprocal, which is positive 9 over 2. The slopes are reciprocals, and they're opposite signs. I use the point-slope formula. Again, you could always use y equals mx plus b. y minus negative 9 equals 9 halves, or 9 over 2, times x minus 6. So y plus 9 equals 9 over 2 times x minus 6. Now, to eliminate the fraction, multiply both sides of the equation by 2. Distribute on the left, and cancel on the right. So 2y plus 18 equals 9x minus 54. Subtract 18 from both sides. And we'll have 2y equals 9x minus 72. Divide by 2 all the way through, and you'll have y equals 9 over 2x minus 36. That's our perpendicular equation. Now, put that in the answer box, carefully. Nine over two, right arrow, x. Minus 36, check answer. Well done. I like it when it tells me I'm right. Okay, solve the following equation. Welcome to homework problem number 21. We're going to be solving this distribution equation. Calculating the solution requires uh, some rather advanced distribution. 
So let's get to it. Number 21. 9 parentheses x plus 1 equals 3 minus 2 parentheses 9x plus 4. Okay, here we go. Watch out for that minus sign. Remember that minus 2 is really a negative 2. We're going to have 9 parentheses x plus 1 equals 3 plus negative 2 times 9x plus 4. If you rewrite the equation this way, you're going to be much less likely to make a mistake. Now I'm going to distribute the 9 to the x and to the 1, and the negative 2 to the 9 and to the 4. Here we go. 9x plus 9 equals 3 plus negative 18x minus 8. Remember that negative times positive is negative. And that minus 8 and plus negative 8 are the same thing. Now, notice that I add the opposite on both sides. I add the opposite of positive 9, which is negative 9, to both sides. Nine, that will leave me with 9x equals 3 plus negative 18x plus negative 17. That will be, well, I'll add 18x to both sides in order to, to zero out the negative 18x on the right. That will give me 27x on the left. And 3 plus negative 17 is negative 14. Divide by 27 on both sides. And you'll have x equals be careful. It's negative 14 over 27. I got fooled too. You can't reduce it. So x is going to equal negative 14 over, well, negative 14 over 27. Now, let's put that answer in the answer box. Negative 17 no, 14 over 27. Fantastic! All right. We did it.